All right. There are, of course, other types of reactions. We've talked about eutectic and paratectic, but there's other reactions that are important for phase diagrams. For example, eutectoid and paratectoid. So what are these? Well, eutectic is a liquid turning into two different solids. A paratectic is a liquid and a solid turning into a different solid. A eutectoid is a solid turning into two different solids. And a paratectoid is two solids turning into a third solid. Okay? So in this diagram, look at this red circled point. What would that be as you're cooling down? These are always upon cooling down, right? So as you cool through that point, at that point, what do you have? Well, you've got two solid phases labeled gamma and beta turning into a third solid phase. So that would be, which one of these? That would be a paratectoid point, right? Um, so these become important. For example, eutectoid, the steel phase diagram has a really important eutectoid, which gives rise to its properties, which we'll cover in just a few videos. Another thing to note about these phase diagrams is that they don't always have to be between pure compounds, like pure tin going to pure gold or something like that. You can have compounds on either end. For example, you can have, in this case, you've got KCl on this side, and you've got MgCl2 on this side, okay? And you know, and it's been labeled correctly, like take a look at this middle compound, right? Occurring at 50 mole percent, right? The mole fraction is 0 0.5. So in other words, there's just as many moles of KCl as there are MgCl2. So if you just add those up, KCl plus MgCl2, we should have KMgCl3. And sure enough, that's what we've got here. KMgCl3 is the compound that forms there. So that's an example of a phase diagram that doesn't have pure elements. It has compounds. Uh, those are totally fair game as well. We can do those.